Mr. It's indeed a pleasure to be here and visit with you about a rather crucial topic. It's curious to me at how our politics and policies in this country and globally can continue to avoid and disassociate ourselves from the most critical issues facing all of humanity and all the species on Earth, and that's climate crisis. We know that farming can be a, a, a large greenhouse gas emitter. But unfortunately, we target often on the far hand left here is the mold bore plow as the big problem. We turn the soil over and we release carbon. And it is a challenge. But look at the other data points. Now, right now in current legislation, there's an awful lot of conversation and there's been a lot of lobbying done to place in the Waxman Markey piece through the Agriculture Committee's insistence that we pay farmers for conventional no-till. But if you look at conventional no-till in this chart, it talks about 300 kilograms per hectare, but there's an air range of 700 kilograms, which basically says sometimes we're releasing it, sometimes we're putting it away, and it depends on the soil type and the climate and how the season went and how the farmer was doing it. So what will happen is the carbon markets will learn very rapidly that this is not a very reliable and probably not very permanent source of putting carbon away. But if we go into a winter cover crop, which is an organic system process, what we're going to end up with is sequestering about 700 kilograms per hectare. But the real interesting thing is, is when we do manure systems, we can get 1,200 kilograms per hectare. Now that starts to be a significant amount of carbon. And we did a 10-year study, not this 29-year study, that looked at compost in fields, applied every third year, not applied every year, applied every third year. And on average, that produces 2,363 kilograms per hectare, over a ton of carbon. That's over 7,000 pounds of carbon dioxide. And this is where our numbers come from. When we simply calculate, there's 3.5 billion tillable acres on the planet. And if we were to start to farm it in a regenerative, biological, organic approach, we could be putting away 40 percent of all humanity's current emissions. There's no leverage point larger. This is not incorporating pasture management with heavy mob grazing. It's not incorporating taking care of rangelands globally in a much healthier way by using cattle on them in a way that will build grasses and build root zone instead of continue to eat the grasses down and shrink the root zone. We really believe by some early indications on some numbers that well-managed pastures can put away more carbon than we're showing here. And that would really challenge us to think about how much carbon could be put away. It would suggest maybe 100 percent. 